Hi, this is Nikolai from Bunker Samples, and I know what you're thinking. I've never heard of Bunker Samples. Well, now you have. This is, I guess, the announcement. So welcome. You may or may not have heard of a little Viola Pitts freebie I did last spring. It sounded like this. That is still available. And now I've built the contact version, as you can see here. I've now recorded this with bass, cello, viola and violin, so it covers the whole range. And because it's Cyber Week, I've decided to offer people interested in pre-ordering a very good price of $29 for the whole thing. But so you can see what you're buying, here's a little preview video. So one of the problems with traditional sampling is if you record 10 violins and then play a three note chord, now you have 30 violins playing. If you're trying to recreate a virtual representation of the real thing, that's a problem. I've decided to turn that upside down and to use sampling for what it's best at, which in my opinion is creating things that couldn't exist in real life. So that's a whole idea behind this library. Dynamics are not created by dynamic layers, but they are created by fading in more players. Now, the only thing that's sort of ready, and when I say sort of, I mean, there's no interface or anything yet, but there will be, uh, are some of the bass patches. So this is the soft pizzicato on the bass. And if you move the up wheel all the way down, you have three players. As you start moving up, now you have six players. And when you get to the top, you have nine players. And every single articulation in this library is like that. I've also recorded a louder pizzicato articulation. So it's basically just randomly timed pizzicato. It creates a certain mayhem when all nine basses are playing. Now you put the uh, two pizzicato layers together, we get this. So you can have something very intimate. or full-on mayhem. Now, of course, uh, the original was famous for the stick articulation, which is basically a colenio but play with a drumstick. Now, the great thing about a drumstick instead of a bow is, uh, well, it bounces a lot better. So you get this crazy randomness. Again, you can go from just a little to full on. If you put that together, then you get a patch like this. We'll give you a blast of the whole range. Now we also recorded short articulations. They are basically, well they are colenios, but play with a drumstick. Now the great thing about that is that when you're not using an expensive bow, you can really smack the string. Four round robins, three dynamic layers, and the idea is that you have this soft layer, where you can get sort of a ticky tucky rhythm going, and then you have a louder layer for accents. Now velocity controls dynamics, but again, mod wheel controls how many players. So here at the bottom, you have three players to six. So that's basically the raw bass sounds. Now, because everything is recorded so clean and dry, these take extremely well to effects. So I wrote this little demo where I try to take these sounds far away from where they came from.
Let's go through this quickly to see what I've done. These are just the colinders with a little bit of EQ on and some reverb. And then I'm sending to a delay, which is this replica with the uh, with the setting that comes up straight out of the box. This is just the colinder pads with a ton of compression on it. It's just the Logic stock compressor, a bit of EQ and reverb, and that's all there is to it. Now this is an interesting one. All I've done is I've tuned it up an octave, thinned it out a bit with EQ, and then added a tremolo. And we get this. This is just the soft pizzicato layer, and you're not hearing anything of the direct signal. You are hearing a reverb and another reverb. It's black hole. And this, this is again just the soft pizzicato. We create a sort of a telephone effect with EQ so that it cuts through. Up here is the original viola freebie. And I just boosted the top with some EQ and I've added one delay feeding into another delay and then add a bunch of reverb sends and we get this. Down here it's just another basic colander pads. This is the same, just lower. Now before we go, let's just listen to some of the viola samples that have not been turned into an instrument yet. So that's the soft pins. Here is so you can hear my cat outside, he wants to get in. Here is the louder bits. And of course we also have the stick samples and the short notes. And then we have a bonus articulation that's in the cello, viola and violin. And next summer it will also be recorded in the bass. And that's a ricochet that sounds like this. So you can imagine the possibilities of blending that in with the pizzicato and the sticks and everything else. So that's pretty much it. I think the full price will be somewhere around $60, let's say $59. But the pre-order price for this week and this week only is $29. So go to bunkersamples.com and reserve your copy. Your credit card will not be charged until I'm ready to ship the libraries so you got nothing to worry about and as soon as it's ready you'll be one of the first to get it and what would that be well a couple of years i guess just kidding just kidding i'm hoping a couple of weeks but realistically it's probably going to be around christmas time let's see i'm working hard every day i hope you enjoyed this little preview of bunker samples volume one and um, i hope you get to enjoy the library thanks for watching bye bye coming ginger coming now ginger